Despite finishing second in the U.S. trials, Jordan Weber, the defending world champion, remains the favorite for all-around gold in London. I'm not really too nervous about anything. I think I just have to focus on the positives and be really confident in all my training that I've done leading up to this moment. Weber's biggest challenge may come from her teammate, Gabby Douglas. Douglas pulled off a big upset at the trials and seems to be peaking at the perfect time. Everyone's telling me that you've really matured and you're, you're an awesome gymnast, so, um, man, I just feel so great right now. Allie Raisman and her three years on the U.S. national team will play a crucial role for the squad, which is expected to bring home the gold. I think that that's really cool that we're going in there having that extra pressure to win. The U.S. women are the reigning world champions, and they have so much depth. They could easily send two teams there, and both would probably be in medal contention. Barring any injuries or surprises, the gold medal is really probably theirs to lose. On the men's side, Daniel Leva will lead a team also looking to strike gold in London. The Cuban-born Parallel Bars specialist could medal in the all-around two after winning the U.S. trials. You know, it's great to know that I came from somewhere else and they still, like, open their arms enough to let me uh, represent everyone. His teammate, John Orozco, is also a contender for an all-around medal at the Olympics. He, too, has an inspiring background story. Orozco overcame financial hardship and bullying growing up in the Bronx to win this year's national championship. I think it's great that I can come in here and be proud of where I'm from, you know, with the background that I've had. I Also, it's a good thing because I can show younger kids that were in my situation when I was growing up that, you know, you can overcome anything. Also joining the team is Olympic veteran Jonathan Horton who won the silver medal on high bar in 08 and was part of the team that won bronze in Beijing. You know, now that I know what to expect, now I know, know what it's all about, this one might almost be even a little more satisfying to know that, okay, I did it once and I was good enough to do it twice. The U.S. men's chances in London are, are very, very good. They have been saying for the last few years that they want to win the team gold medal and that they believe that they have the goods to do it. And they actually do. The Olympic gymnastics competition begins July 28th one day after opening ceremonies. Haven Daily, Associated Press, San Jose, California.